Hey, Mr. Chef Dad, where you been at? Where I been at? You need to make something new. I need some food. I need you to show me what to do. Show me, Mr. Chef Dad. Show me some food. It's the winter time and I'd like some soup. I have a question. What are you doing? Tell me the ingredients and everything that's going on. I need to do. Welcome back to Cooking with Mr. Chef Dad. As you can see, I've been on hiatus for a little bit, but we're back, and for some reason, we're slimming down a little bit. Crazy thing called keto. Who would have thought, right? Well, it works. Some of you have been asking, what's my secret? It's eating some fun things, all right? One special request is my famous cheeseburger soup. Be careful, there's a knife right there. All right. Why have I not been in any videos at all lately? It's been months. What's going on? Tell me, I need to know. This is ridiculous, I'm calling my agent. Agent, yes, this is my phone, so give me a second. Do I look like a teenage girl? Get that stupid Snapchat filter off my face right now. Show me, tell me, I need to know. Blah, 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 blah. I don't get paid enough to do this. Just make your soup. Alright, alright, enough from the peanut gallery. So, here's my secret recipe, okay? We're gonna need a few things to start off with. We're gonna need some of that butter, baby. Keto, they love butter, so that's what we do. We use butter. We got butter, we got a little bit of bacon, we got cheese for some cheeseburger soup. Duke, the cheese isn't for you, keep it moving. We got celery, carrots, onions, chicken broth, heavy creamer. is what you need to nothing else will do because that's what we gotta do for that soup all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little movie magic we're gonna make some mirepoix which if you don't know carrots onions celery in a certain mixture all right so here we go carrots onions celery one, two, three. Alakaza. Who told you to come back already? I said movie magic. Don't listen to him. I'm busy. I said Alakaza. Duke. He agrees with me. Make it. Hey, what if somebody interrupted you while you were cutting? Would it hurt? Huh? Would it? Yes, if you keep interrupting me, I will lose a finger. I'm not you. I can't regenerate. All right? So mind your own business. Yeah, well, not all of us are perfect. As you've seen in my last movie, I grew a pair of legs and I straight shirt it. Did I just get censored? What is this? I don't care if it's a family YouTube. I'm gonna fucking cuss if I want fucking cuss, huh? Just. Make your soup. <sighs> and we're back. Movie magic, like I said. All the stuff's gone. So we got some delicious mirepoix here, right? We got three medium onions. Small medium. We have two large carrots. And we have three stalks of celery. Chopped up. Small dice. Duke, take care of the carrot for me. Thank you, sir. So after we do that, we're going to saute our mirepoix in the butter, of course. Then we're going to 
chop up the bacon, put it in, and then, did we forget something, Duke? Duke, did we forget something? We did. We forgot the, we forgot the hamburger. I'm not going back to the store though, so you know, the video's over, sorry. Maybe. Hold on. Let me think. Oh, let me try this out. One second. Right back. All right, so let me see. I'm not going to the store to get this ground hamburger because you need a ground hamburger for the hamburger soup. It only makes sense. Hamburger soup. Need a hamburger. I've seen this thing in a movie once. I don't know if it's going to work. Let me see. Unicorn! It worked! Thanks, Unicorn. Need cheeseburger soup? You need a hamburger. Or else it's just cheese soup. Which is alright, but we're making cheeseburger soup. We need the cheeseburger! We need the burger! Alright, here we go. What about a sandwich with the soup? You can't have any bread. Why gotta be so negative all the time? We're gonna work something with that out too. Don't worry about it, because the soup and sandwich goes together. Like father and daughter. Now get out of my video. We're gonna get back to that in a minute. But first, on with the saute. Come here, my camera. Come right here. So first things first, put a, about a tablespoon of butter, put it out in the pan. Watch it simmer. We got our mirepoix. In you go. Now it kind of looks like a lot. Five quart pan. The thing about this wonderful delectable mix is that it cooks down. So it cooks down to about a third of its size. Movie magic or cooking magic. You. Be the judge. It's cooking magic. It's cooking science. Start browning your meat. I like it meaty, so I put about two and a half to three pounds of this ground burger goodness. Not for vegetarian consumption. I'm sure you could use some tofu or some stuff like that, but keto is all about that meat. So keep it keto friendly. The bacon baby. Oh yeah yeah. Once it's translucent the vegetables, just pour it right in. I like the thick bacon because it adds a little bit more oomph to it. But do what you want. Use about a about a half pound of bacon because that's gonna shrivel right up too. You know the best things in life, they either go fast. I like this not enough. Perfection with almost no movie magic. There's just a slight hue of pink. If you don't know what hue is, then your art teacher might have made a huge mistake. It was funny, guitar, leave it alone. Anyways, there's a little bit of pink. We're gonna take it off the burner for a strain out most of the grease. Well, I keep a little grease in there because, as you know, any good burger place, you bite into that burger, get that, that grease. I'm gonna get down here. That grease. You know what I'm talking about. I feel like it. They all float down here, Georgie. It's hard to spit pop on her nose. I don't got balloons, but I got cheeseburger soup. Alright? I'll see you in a minute. Alright Deadpool, don't tell nobody about this, alright? I'm not putting it in the video. But my secret is I put a little spoonful of minced garlic. But don't tell nobody, alright Deadpool? So what do you what are you doing with the camera? Oh, focus test, alright. I appreciate that. Just Make sure you don't put that in the video, alright? And thank you, Movie Magic, 
because that did take forever in real time. Anyways, two cups of chicken broth. Listen to a sizzle, baby. What? It's boiling. A can of nice tomatoes. And a half. Don't worry, I'm not gonna waste it. I'll find something else to do with the other half of tomatoes. And we stir it in. And then we're gonna bring it back to a boil. And now that we got a nice sizzle going, Duke, it was just the neighbors, relax. We're gonna pour in two cups of delicious, so not nutritious, heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna stir that right in. Look at that color change, isn't that slick? What? What? Looks good to me. Next, we're gonna let it boil. Cause then we're gonna put the cheese in. The cheese. I feel like Arthur. Cheese. Next, we add in that Velveeta cheese to our boiling pot. Pot, 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 pot. How much Velveeta cheese you say? I say as much as you want. Cause the more, the better. We started out with a full brick, but due to a Duke issue, we're a little less than a half, a little less than a full brick. So I would say, right now we got about two thirds a brick of Alveda cheese. I would assume a full one would be fine. But if you have a hungry dog like mine, who loves cheese and will give you the saddest eyes. Like, like seriously. Like, look at these eyes. Pouting will get you nowhere, we're in the middle of filming. See, here's, here's the problem. He, we got contact with the cheese. All right, get a grip. She lets you understand. But you're not getting any food. Sorry. If I will. Boop. Boop. Let me boop you. Let me boop. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, Dookie. Alright. Back to the show. That's what I'm talking about. How can you deny those eyes cheese? I said no, but I gave in. I caved. I am weak with my puppy. That's aside the point. So you can probably put a full thing of cheese in it. So then, because like when I say cheeseburger soup, I didn't say burger cheese soup. I said cheeseburger soup. So we got some Italian style cheese. Oh my grain, cheesy rain. Oh, there's a little more that I want to put in, but it's fine because it's cheese. Burger soup. Now that our cheese is all quesoed up, what do we do? Add the meat. And then just keep adding more meat till it's brimming with the meat. So, I may have miscalculated. And, um, I made way too much cheese soup. So I'm gonna have to take some of this cheese soup out so I can put more burger in. Um, Cause she's bubbling already and she ain't gonna make it. All right. God, don't drop it in. We ramified that. We took some of the, the soup out to let the, the meat in. There we go. We just need a little extra grooving room. Let me stir it in. Oh, nice, nice, look at that. Looks like a cheese a cheeseburger. Remember that? Frank and Frank. And we just go do a little pop, 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 popping. Pop, pop, popping. Pop, pop, popping. Pop that good stuff in. And then, what always goes on a burger? Whether you want it or not. They put that, the, the, the 
onion, the tomato, and what? The lettuce. Now you might be saying, hold on, Mr. Chef Dad. What you put lettuce in the soup for? You are crazy. That is disgusting. Who puts a salad in a soup? I heard soup and salad, but I never heard soup with salad in it. But guess what? You're going to have your mind blown today. Don't get fancy. Iceberg lettuce. You mix it in. All of it. Look at it. It's a nice, hearty soup. It ain't Tom, but it's hearty. You feel me? Bam, baby. And last, but oh so, oh so not least. Because flavor is everything in this house. A little bit of pepper. Stir it in. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you cheeseburger soup. So now, how about we say, we're make us a sandwich for the soup, shall we? We shall. We shall make a sandwich for soup. With our soup all done, cheeseburger soup, what goes good with the soup? A sandwich. That's right. They say, dang, Corey, I got a sandwich and you don't have any bread. Now see, that's a dilemma on the keto diet. <coughs> this is what I got to deal with. Unprofessional dog. Just unprofessional. See, when you have a dog and you mention food, that's what happens. Anyways. Guitar's running them off. <laughs> no bread on the diet. So we gotta get a little creative. What do we got? We got some Napa cabbage. Not nappy, like the hair I used to have, but Napa. And we got some Swiss cheese. <laughs> we got some mayo. Too much. Can't make any videos. We got some roast beef and some turkey. Real easy. Easy as you can. <laughs> Tell him, Duke, it's easy, right? Say it's easy. He doesn't care. Get your toy down. Anyways, give me two seconds of movie magic and to get this dog under control, and we're gonna make this wonderful keto sandwich. Right? All right, so here's what's going on. I asked for some production help from my daughter, Tara. Some of you might know her. And I say, so you know, in some of my videos, if you go back and look, I can do my movie magic and there's like covered doors open behind me. So, come here. So this is what she does. As you stand out the camera, with the sign that says close covered doors. I left the covered door open, all right? It's not in the scene. Nobody's gonna care. You guys wouldn't know. Would you know? No, because you wouldn't. Because you don't see it. But she made me close the covered door. She's just as bad as her mind. Anyways, here we go. Super easy. Napa lettuce, cabbage, right? Always wash your greens. If you don't, that's just nasty. There's bugs and doo-doo fingers all on them. Wash, wash it, it takes two seconds. Wash Napa cabbage. A little bit of mayo. Smear it on. I'm a big man, I like my mayo. Uh, smear it. Dip it back in. Uh, almost stuck already. Pepper. A little bit of shakage. Salt. Don't pour it on. You're not an animal. Pour a little bit in your hand. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Do something fun with it. Throw it over your shoulder for good luck. Unless your parents say, don't do it, then I didn't tell you to do it. Do it anyways. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. You're going to make a mess. Do it. Anyways. Cheese. Make a cheese slap. 
Play it on down. Get some to me. Put it on down. Put it on down. Put it on down. Put it on down. Next. A little bit of that roast beef. You know what I'm saying? A good sandwich usually has two kinds of meat. That's not a rule. That's something I like. Ham and turkey. Turkey roast beef. Turkey and turkey. Yes, I said turkey and turkey. Oven roasted turkey. And honey turkey. Do it. Don't change your mind. Do that up. Final thing. Shake, 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 shake. A little bit of sub oil. Light drizzle. Drizzle. Don't pour it. Drizzle it. And you roll it. What? What is this? You know what? That's good. You want one too? Yeah. Sure, I want to. I'm gonna be right back. Alright. Just thanks a little movie magic. We had to make two. But Super easy. Stick a little toothpick in it, done. Boom, baby! Just like that. Roll it up, sandwich. I don't need no bread. You don't need no bread. We'll talk about bread. I'll do a special video for my whole keto thing. If anyone has any questions, I know some people said some. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But right now, it's the cheeseburger soup and sandwich. You dig it? I dig it, you can dig it, I can dig it, he can dig it, she can dig it, they can dig it, I'll just dig it. Come on, dig it, baby. See you next time for Mr. Chef Dad and Guitar. Peace. Well, boys and girls, that is the end of the video. Like it, share it. I said share it. Please. Share it, like it, love it. Cause if you do, this psycho will make more videos, I promise you. He takes requests, he does all this kind of crazy stuff. He doesn't even record half of it. I don't know why, I told him you can make some money from it. But who knows, we might be having some cameos besides this lovely face. So, we'll see you next time. Okie dokie. So then I said, what in the, what do you think this is? Marvel? We don't do after credit scenes here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Go do something. Watch some more videos. God, can we get some privacy? How do you turn this thing off?